fruit bats. It's really a banana girl here. Today is day 25 of my 30 videos in 30 days. I only got five days left. It's very sad for it to come to an end, but who knows what will happen at the end of those 30 days. So today's topic is the five raw food newbie mistakes that people make. So five mistakes that newbies make coming to the raw food diet. I think this one's a very important one to cover because you know, more than ever we're finding like a lot of people finding the raw food diet and that's great they're coming here but they're making these really big mistakes and they're leaving just as quickly as they're coming. So I want to prevent that. I want people to be on this lifestyle for life, even high carb cooked vegan. Just high carb. I want them to be on it for life because I know it's going to be better for them, the planet, the animals and everything. So let's get into it. Number one is Guess what? They don't eat enough fruit. That's right, they become glucose deficient. And how do they become glucose deficient? Well, they get sucked in by the high fat superfood gurus and they end up eating way too much fat. That is one way they do it. Way, way, way too much fat, you know, they eat the cacao and they're trying to get this cellular nutrition from fat rather than sugar. Cashews aren't going to give you the vibrancy that you want. Oil is not going to give you the vibrancy, cacao isn't, but guess what, fruit is, okay, fruit is your go-to guy girl when it comes to sugar, when it comes to feeling your absolute best. So that's one way, okay, this is one A, so one B is they're unprepared. So if you're unprepared, you don't have enough ripe fruit around all the time, you don't know what you're going to take to work, you don't know what you're going to eat for dinner, then it's a very, there's a very good chance you're going to undereat and you're going to go for like high fat foods again. So you've got to be very, very prepared. Have lots and lots of ripe fruit around you at all times. Number two is fasting and juicing. That's what I see a lot when people come to this lifestyle. They're like, ooh, I want to heal big time. I want to be just <laughs> completely healed and wonderful and excellent within the next two weeks. I want to detox all my sins from 10 years, 10, 20 years of living incorrectly in the next two weeks on a juice fast or a water fast. And you know what? That does not work. It really, really does not work. What it does work to do is get you fully under carb and starving. Your cells become just ravenous for food. So when you come off these fasts or juice feasts, you're just like, just give me, give me, give me. I want heat. I want the most calorifically dense food possible and you know what your brain says? Let's go back to what we used to eat because that is satisfying. That's what your brain says. So you need to be patient when it comes to healing. Emotional eating. People subscribe to the whole emotional eating paradigm and I did too when I first came to this lifestyle I was all about like oh you know I'm eating for emotional reasons. Immediately I thought that all the time and you know what a big part of it was I wasn't used to having a full belly. You know, that whole full belly thing was really foreign to me because I came from anorexia and bulimia and although it was, you know, when I binge and stuff I'd have a full belly, I really, really did not like it. Okay, so this just kept triggering that yucky feeling in me and I thought, oh, I'm emotional eating. And I forgot about the fact that fruit is full of fiber and water and the volume that we need to eat to be satisfied to get enough calories is so much bigger. So I didn't, you know, put two and two together in my head and I thought I was emotional eating. And there's a whole industry amount around this emotional eating rubbish, okay? When you need to eat, if your brain's saying, go and get calories, then you need calories, your cells need nutrition. The problem is most people go for the high fat rubbish. They just dive into the wrong calories. You just need the right calories. You need to be discerning in that moment to eat the correct things, which are high, high carb, low-fat plant foods. When you're extra stressed, that's when a lot of people eat, right? That's when a lot of people want to eat. Some people don't, but a lot of people actually want to eat more because they're burning more calories, they're burning more glycogen, they're burning more fuel, so they actually need to eat more. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's emotional eating, you shouldn't be eating now. But that is just not true at all in my eyes. And when I drop that whole idea, that's when I got to my leanest, fittest, healthiest self. People 
start to listen to those voices around them. You know, they come to this new lifestyle and they're like, oh wow, you know, this is really cool. They get excited and very, very excited. Like I was actually, I was really, really excited. But the voices started creeping, the fan, friends and family start to go, what is this fad diet? Raw food? Are you crazy? That's so extreme. By the way, I don't want to show you what extreme is. So watch my video here. This is what extreme is. Extreme isn't eating fruits and vegetables. It's extremely good, extremely natural, extremely healthy, but it's not extreme in the sense that most of society wants to put this negative thing on it. And that's what you know, the mainstream don't understand. They just see this protein deficient diet and they're like, oh my God, my family member's gonna, you know, my, my mom, my sister, my brother is gonna like die on this program. It's just because they don't understand. So don't listen to those voices. Listen to your intuition. This is a totally healthy, wonderful, balanced way to eat, but only if you eat enough calories from fruit. Number five is people come to this lifestyle because they want to lose weight. That is priority. That's above health. That's above anything else. Weight loss. And you know what? It was big for me when I came to this lifestyle as well. But the problem is people don't see that instant weight loss that they want to see, which is promised by whole, all these other like fad diets, and they fall off. They're like, oh, this doesn't work. I'm going to go to the next diet. See, that is a way when, that you never ever achieve your ideal self, your ideal shape, be the person you want to be, because you keep going back and forth from diet to diet. Don't put weight loss above health. Your health is what's important. How you feel inside your body, the healing that's going on, that is what's truly, truly important. So, health above weight loss. Remember, you know, you, you came to this lifestyle and this weight didn't come overnight didn't come on in a few months, it probably came on in you know, a couple of years, if you like most people. So give it time, let the healing begin, be patient, embrace the awesome results that you're getting and enjoy the whole process because health and well-being is what is important, the most important. I am going to leave it at that because this will be a long video and I will see you tomorrow for day 26. I'm not 100% sure as usual what I'm going to do because I like just lying in bed and thinking about what the topic's going to be for the next day. I like to do it creatively. And I hope that helps. Give us a thumbs up if it did. And don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. I'll see you then. Bye. Banana girl. Go fruit yourself. Go free to